It's simply done with the computer wirelessly. The next big thing might come from Baltimore. The inventions in this warehouse that could become part of our future. That was a nice run. All right, gadgets of the future are being made right here in Baltimore. Most of us in here have an ambition to, to create something. Next on Fox 45 News at 10, we'll show you the place where ideas become reality. The things in this space that could become part of our yeah, lives. The new Fox hit, Almost Human, we get a glimpse of a future dominated by androids. It's science fiction, yeah. but uh, it might be closer to reality than many people think. Yeah, Jeff Abel shows us in Baltimore, every day people are working on what could become the next great invention. In a warehouse on the city's north side, two dozen people are spending another Wednesday night unraveling the secrets of science. I have a Borduino and a Teensy. Their language may seem foreign. You're going to need the PWM RGB. But stick around long enough, and foreign becomes all too familiar. If I just nibble a hole for that, I can just mount it to the outside. Welcome to the Baltimore hacker space where those with a little know-how... I used to build machines when I was a kid, whenever I was troubled. ...are learning how. I'm definitely a maker. I love building things, and this is the perfect place to build things because you have every tool known to man. Mark Haygood is a retired cop who came to this space seeking help with Hex. So yeah, this clock radio. Hex is the robot he built out of household goods. So yeah, the legs were speakers. It took years to build. The feet were oven chicken fryers. But when he discovered this space, it took just hours to learn how to program it. Head movements, any, any other movements, it's, uh, it's simply done with the computer wirelessly. Most of us in here have an ambition to, to create something. David Powell opened this space four years ago, hoping to give anyone with an idea the tools to develop it. For example, we have a guy who knows about machinery, he knows about programming, he knows electronics, all one guy but he doesn't know how to make a website. So he comes here and we help him make his website, <laughs> you know? In the past four years, at least four other of these maker spaces have cropped up here in the Baltimore area, all of them giving the curious a place to be creative. And as you can see, it's actually self-stabilized. Terry and Belinda Kilby found the tools they needed to create a drone. Now these two professionals have become photographers. Yeah, you can actually see the the feed in real time. And the images they've captured from their homemade drone are now published in a book. You know, we never consider ourselves photographers. And then one day, literally, we woke up and realized that we'd been published in National Geographic. At this space, what once seemed impossible is finally possible. When we were younger, being the nerd was not really that cool. Now it's the coolest thing in the world. Jeff Abel. <laughs> guys picked a good night. Fox 45 News. Who would have ever thought chicken fryers could be used for a robot? Stuff. Yeah, now we know. Yeah.